Hey, Stella. That was the service. I hope I was the only setback. No life-threatening injuries? Well, I nearly bust me foot kicking that stupid car, if that counts. So was Steve furious. Steve's happy. Well, if you ain't the second best man. Hey, so I take it you stood in then, Dave. Oh, with a Dave. Bump, Pete. With a Hey, hey, what on earth happened? Oh, the car broke down. Stella, this looks marvellous. Oh, hey, couldn't you jump in a cab? Oh, it's too late by that time, love. That flaming car. Why don't you come in and have a look? At least you're here now. Well, at least he fixed it at the roadside, so that's that's one thing. Oh, right, so you finally got round to sorting out the breakdown cover then? I did, yeah, yeah. Hey, where's our site? Oh, we insisted on travelling with the bride and groom. Did he? <laughs> no, if somebody uh, spots we know the, the wedding was going to be a car crash, yeah. I could be arrested. Mum, paranoia will destroy you, all right? All you did is have a conversation with Becky, all right? You didn't go anywhere near the medical centre. Did they put a banner up when you married him? That was a million years ago, Craig. Talk us through it. They're married. And what God has put together, let no man tear asunder. He married her, knowing she lied. I don't know yet. The night is young, Gail. We should stay away till it's over. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Yes, Sean, I love you too. All right, Tara. Hiya. Hiya. How was your weekend? Yeah, good. Mm. And how's Sean? Oh, he sends his love and a three-hour DVD of Dylan. Oh. I was going to choose the highlights, but... Uh... Uh, no telly. No telly. Not the bailiffs, I hope. Bailiffs? We need many white coats. Leslie can't help being ill. She is not our problem. Leslie smashed the telly, but Paul's paid for all the damage. Oh. Well, we can watch it on my laptop. Thank you, Marcus. Something constructive. I've missed you. Anyway, I'm going to Steve and Tracy's reception. I only came back to change my shoes. Assuming no one's eating them. You don't believe in karma, do you, Jason? It's lucky that. Yeah, we don't need crazy people coming here, messing things up. I'll get my coat then. Am I okay to serve her? Yeah, go on. Um, I am over 18, you know. I'd fetch you some ID, but, um, it's in my married name, so... Yeah, well, I don't want any trouble. We didn't cause any trouble in church. No. And I've got a wedding present for them. And then will you go? When I've drunk my pint, which I haven't even started yet. I don't. Snake bite. Time's two. Have a word, Deirdre. It's unsettling for everybody, her being here. Why me? Well, somebody needs to. Uh, Pete. Yeah. Is this a uh, best man speech? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you've got something prepared. So. Yeah, but you're not best man. <laughs> Would you mind if I just give it one server and see if there's anything I'm going to fill in? Shame to waste. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh! Hey. Yeah. Oh! Oh! That's it for me. Where am I going to get another pretty barnet at such short notice? Ah, Sunita. Yeah? Give us a hand behind the bar, love. Oh, Carl, I'm a guest. But let's just see how busy it gets, yeah? Oh, Come hey. on, pass them round. All right. I'll do that. Hey, Steve. Listen, I'm really, really sorry, OK? Congratulations. Come here. There are no hard feelings. Months of pulling favours from you from now on, though. You just say the word. You are positively glowing. <laughs> worth it in the end, then. I'm just glad it all worked out for you, that's all. I knew I'd get what I wanted eventually. I deserve this man. Nobody deserves happiness as much as I do. Oh! How was it? Well, Becky and that sister of hers turned up. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing. It, it, it was like booking tickets for Psycho and having to sit through some schmaltzy rom-com with you, Grant. Well, I wish I'd gone now. Only I swore after Sophie and Shans I'd hung up my wedding hat for a while. Well, go to the reception. You can have my portion of the buffet cos I'm up to here with soppiness. Well, I can't just go for the food and drink. No, you keep an eye here and I'll have a breather. You know... I feel like a schoolboy whose fireworks got damp. Let me relight your fire. Your love is my only desire. Beg your pardon? Let's take that. Oh. Speaking of songs, there's a silver lining to all this. Oh, why? Well, uh... well, if there'd been a hullabaloo at the church, there's no way you'd be able to concentrate on your practice. 
Shall we boot it? The keyboard? Don't tempt me. Ladies and gents, Father of the Bride. Woo! The King's Speech! No, it's all right. Let us stay. You sure? Yeah. You're welcome, Becky. A new start. Perfect day just gets more perfect. Not only do I marry you, I get to rub her nose in it and all. Tracy? Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. <laughs> I can't tell you how proud I am right now. And you know when two people are right for each other, when they're capable of producing something as wonderful as they make. Steve, you've been a dedicated father. And I know you're going to be a dedicated husband. Otherwise, you'll have Deirdre to answer to. <laughs> <laughs> you two have been through a heartbreaking time recently. And I know that's always going to be somewhere in your minds. But it's drawn you closer. Shared love, shared loss, and now a shared life together. That was a perfect time then. I hate her. So stick it to her. What's so weird, Bex? I was just going to. Oh, God, I hate you, Steve MacDonald. What? Did you not see his face then? I know how much he wants children. It has always torn me apart. What's that got to do with all? Now I'm going to wave this in front of his face. I know what it's like to have a miscarriage, and, I, and I'm just going to stand there am I in front of everybody and go, no, 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 no. This isn't about what happened to her or him. It's not about what happened to them babies, neither. It's about the lies she's told after. Half the street thinks you're a murderer. Steve would sooner spit at you rather than look at you. She's the one that's used something terrible and made it worse. Not you. Look, shall I do it? You're missing the speeches. Excuse me. Oh, um, I meant to ask, only I forgot. What was your name before? I mean, before you married Steve. Oh, it's always been Becky. Only, you won't want to be keeping it at McDonald's, will you? People might think we're sisters. I often look at you and think sister. You could change your middle name to X. Becky X McDonald. Oh, I'm so pleased that you came. Makes you seem horribly cruel. And me, really sweet. And the cherry popped on top? Steve hates you even more. Happy days. It's all right. Thank you. Can you uh, check if Tracy's okay? Yeah, of course. Top up, Emily. Oh, why? Uh, thank you. I think I'm a bit squiffy. Oh, does that mean you'll dance with me later? No, uh, you know, Mother, I prefer not to drink. Yes. Hey, Pete. Oh. It's good. It's very good. Funny. Oh, well. Using anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I better look next. Um, oh. where are the kids? about watching Sally Y. I thought you climbed up to the window. Hey? Oh, I've got you now. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, the groom, speak! Oh, uh, well, um, I first met Trace when we were at school together. Aww. And uh, studying now, I feel like we were plonked in the middle of one of those mazes that are Amy like. You know, <laughs> me stood at one end, Tracy at the other, walking around all the different bits, trying to find each other. You know, I've, uh, I know I've been up a load of dead ends, <laughs> but then, no, yeah, no, 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 I'm not being funny. I'm just saying, you know, I know I lost my way a bit. But uh, Tracy said to me the other day that she always knew that I was the one. It's true. And maybe if I'd been a bit more honest with myself, as honest as my beautiful wife here. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Do carry on. Uh, actually, this is a celebration of my future with Tracy, and I think you've already done enough damage to that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, I want you to leave, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm gone. Not until you've opened my wedding present. I'll put it with the rest, shall I? Uh-uh. I think it's a bit late for sad love letters, don't you, Becky? Bye. Open it. So, uh, this is the bit where you just talk among yourselves. About me if you want, why not? It's all anyone's done for months, isn't it? Staring, whispering, judging, 
change in history. She's always been a bad that, Becky, you know. Yep, you can take the girl out the gutter. You just can't take the gutter out of that girl. Uh, excuse me, but is this like a new tradition? Between the best man speech and the groom speech? The sour ex-wife speech? Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, what have I got here? These are Tracy's medical records, showing that when she fell down my stairs, and that's fell, folks, not pushed... Oh, what? There were no babies. <laughs> I don't... Now, whatever she's been through, and trust me, I would not wish that on my worst enemy, which she is, by the way, it was nothing to do with me. She'd already lost the baby, Steve. <laughs> Check the dates. Your shiny new wife's a filthy liar. Oh, it's forged. She'd do anything. Oh. Dad. How low are you prepared to stoop? Becky, where did you get this from? Me stoop? Kenny, talk to your wife, love. She's so stooped, she's folded in half. She knew. Isn't that right, dreary? Oh. Filthy liars. They're running the family. Steve, you've got to believe me! This is life! Yeah, well, it's not, though, is it? I hope you'll both be very happy together. <coughs> you deserve each other. Oh, I see! Just oh, read it, Ken. No! It's rubbish! Deirdre? I know no. nothing about it. I'm not saying you do. All right, we'll back off then. I'm just saying, does it look like a genuine medical record, does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, she hates me. She'll be in it with her. They'll be in it together. You think Becky had help working out how to access the medical records? That's an interesting theory. Oh! All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve, you can't believe her over me. You disgust me. No! Disgust me. I hate you. <laughs> Keep her away from me. I need to see Becky. No, come on, Steve, you're you're not get straight. Did you know about this? Uh, me? Is this why you swerved the wedding? Because you knew uh, something? No. No, the car broke down. Phone the breakdown company if you don't. No, do look, things, nobody Steve. needs to do that. Come on, Steve. Look, come in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. a drink. Yeah, come on. He's <sighs> not answering. He's smart, though, David. He might have thought of filming it himself. <laughs> oh, I bet it's carnage in there. Everyone's going to be mortified, aren't they? Hey, you should ask for your job back at the Rovers, you know. Everyone feeling sorry for you and that. Kitching. I bet if you had a word with that Stella, she might even give yeah. you a couple of... What's that? There's five grand in that account from the divorce. Keep hold of it. I'm going to transfer everything into your name. It's for Max. Uh, he ain't for sale. No flaming way. You've changed. Not trying to buy him, you idiot. Come here. It's for you. It's for him. When I'm gone. Gone where? Becky! Gone where? We survivors, you and me. That's what we do. We get kicked down and we get back up again, but I can't do it here. Not again. But you won, Bex. Oh, no. I I can't bear to say goodbye to them. Will you, um... Will you do it for me, Kay? That's Becky. She looked distressed. No, this is not right. Stop the car. Stop! You guys are the best. You are. You are the best people on this whole mad, flipping, stupid planet, and I am going to love you forever. <laughs> Please don't go, Becky. I to. Tell it right. We love you too, Becky. Very much. And, and you know where we are if you need us. Won't you? You promise me. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. 
We're going to have to do what I wanted to avoid. Uh, surrender. Cheat. Cheat? Jump. Hold this. Well. <clears throat> With respect, Mary, I think people will know it's you and not me. Why on earth have you put me through hours of torture when oh, they think that couldn't be you? It sounded tuneful. Hey, hello, Emily. You look lovely. I hear the wedding went well. Oh, if only the same could be said for the reception. Why, well, what's to do? Oh, dear, Rita. It's awful. I've had to come away. Why? What happened? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> Norris? Why couldn't you just talk to us first? She... No. You chased her away. Exiled her to who knows what. Where is she? Why couldn't you just believe her? Max's heart's gonna break. Where is she? She's gone. Cab door slammed. End of. What kind of cab? A streetcar's cab? I really could. He's not at the house! You made me back a story all the time, knowing it was a lie. She loves him. And whatever the circumstances, she did lose those twins. Steve! Oh, why can't she once in her life do the right thing? Oh, yes, St. Ken. Forgive us, St. Ken, who never lied or made a stupid decision. Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Your mum says she's coming back. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Check and see who was in, was she? Ain't shifting for them. Which are you, Jay? Heartless or stupid? He's using her. That man is watching the woman he loves turn into a complete stranger in front of his eyes. I'm sorry for the guy here, I'm Marcus. But he's dragging me mum into He's some... dragging your mum nowhere. She's helping because she wants to. She'll get hurt. So deal with that, then. Right now, she's choosing to take that risk because she cares about him and his heart is breaking. Which makes her a damn sight nicer than you'll ever be. Becky! Oh, Becky, please. I need to, uh... oh. I've been such an idiot. I could have saved you a journey there, I know. But you can see why... I'd never thought that she could... Lie about something like that. What, and I could? No, 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 no. No, look, what I mean, what I'm trying to say is that I am so sorry. And all you had to do was know me. That was all. Look, I'm going to promise you something right now, OK? On my life. Oh, Stevie, don't. Listen. Until you... I never really believed that anyone could love me, so... Thank you. Becky, you ready? Sorry, sir, we'll need your boarding pass. married once twice. Yeah, Karen, she was a right life wife. You know, she actually torched Tracy Barlow's car. No. <laughs> you couldn't accuse him of being a till death do us part kind of guy then. I'll uh I'll leave you two to it. No, it's okay. I'll um I'll get off. I've got stuff to do at home. No, 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 it's fine. I've bought you a bottle of wine. Ta? I uh I shouldn't give you an hour time. Don't blame you. Yeah, well I'll knock it on the head. I speak fluent, Jason. That was a heartfelt apology. Is that rare? Well, I'll put it this way, I was less surprised at the wedding reception. Eh. Shall I? Yeah, unless you really do have things you need to do at home. Eh, uh, you know, mope. Feel guilty, hate myself. Well, you could always just not go home. Really? I love Leslie, you know that, don't you? 
You're not a bad man, Paul. You're really not. Are you okay about leaving? Leaving's going from, innit? I'm more used going to kind of girl. Mm, question. I'm a serious one. Yeah? Are you in the Mile High Club? What's that? <laughs> I love you. Your toast. To... going to. To going to. Oh, excuse me, can we have another one, please? Hmm. Oh, no. Save your cash, ma'am. Got me duty free up there. It's first class. Everything's free. Seriously? Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me, um, waitress. Hey, love. Oh, just lob us the bottle. So no regrets, then. Regrets are the people what stop on the ground. We're heading for the stars. Becky says goodbye, see Catherine Kelly's original audition tape and go behind the scenes of the wedding at itv.com slash Corrie. There was a definite spark there. We probably care about her as much as we've ever cared about any character that's ever been in Coronation Street. We say a fond farewell to Becky tomorrow night at 730